I went a little cray cray about this little micro trend. Today I'm going to be unboxing two new bags from the new Chanel collection 21B. Welcome back everyone. If you're new here to my channel, hello, my name is Amy. I'm gonna unbox them. I'm gonna try them on. I'm gonna review them for you. I know you guys like to know how much it fits. So we're gonna do all that and then of course I'm gonna tell you why I ended up buying two of those. Oh my goodness. Starting with this bag. So I did go to Chanel twice this past weekend. We had a long weekend. If you're new to my channel, by the way, I would love for you to subscribe because I do a lot of Chanel reviews and luxury and fashion videos. And I would love to have you on my channel. And of course, guys, please take a guess. What is this? This is a small box. Ooh, it's making noise. What kind of item do you think it is that I ended up buying two of? <laughs> Comment below, okay? Comment below. So we do have a booklet. So these booklets are usually given with small leather goods. It's making a lot of noise. <gasps> Look at that chain. Okay, now you should have a pretty good idea what it is. What does it look like? It has an adjustable chain. Oh my gosh, look at this ball, it's so cute. It has a little CC stamped on it and there's uh, three settings so you can adjust it there's your class with the CC logo on it <gasps> oh my god it's so cute <laughs> look at that look at that oh wow this is the back side by the way so it's the boy belt bag. Oh my goodness, guys. I fell hard. I'm going back in my words. I don't think these are a waste of money or that they are too expensive. I mean, they are. Anything Chanel is. However, you guys know I'm a fan of Chanel and I can come up with so many justification as to why this is better, at least for me. Let me give you an overview of this little bag. So this is indeed the 21B collection. Um, belt bag, part of the micro trend, right? Because belt bags can be so much bigger than this. This is tiny. What really drew me to this one, by the way, is the color. So this is the current season's color, which is a dark gray, and it is in the caviar. I love the fact that this is a boy bag or a boy micro bag because it's a little different from the classic flap, which I have a lot of i have a lot of minis and i have my classic flop everything is with the classic cc turn lock and i don't have anything boy therefore this is sort of like my only boy item and it happens to be chevron as well i don't have anything chevron by the way guys this belt bag is substantial there are items at chanel that don't feel super substantial sometimes but this the chain is substantial the little ball is substantial it's thick but not too thick. It's chunky but it's not extremely heavy. Let's go ahead and remove these stickers. We don't need them. I think there was one here on the clasp as well. So it opens up with a snap closure button. On the interior, it has more of a smooth leather finish and it's made in France. Yeah, made in France and it is a 31 series so it does come with an authenticity card and uh, these little leather goods don't have the microchip yet so yeah made in france fabric line in their beautiful dark gray color really love the chevron stitching on it it's very intricate it's super well made you can feel how substantial it is i love the structure of the little bag as well it's tiny but it packs a punch because look at it it's quite thick actually let's talk about why i bought it after our members only live we spoke about several issues i remember vividly one of the comments from the live chat so from one of the members said that is the whole reason why you would need a micro bag for safety reasons <laughs> because basically this is your wallet 
it weighs nothing because it's so small but it's super close to your body it's not bulging out or anything i just had an epiphany after i saw that and i'm like oh my goodness i call myself the mini bag lady and yet i find that all my mini bags are still not small enough and it just so happens that this micro trend which we're seeing for the past year especially is still going very strong and with the pandemic because our hands are often slathered with hand sanitizer from all the different stores our own ones and sometimes they become so sticky and disgusting that I don't even want to touch my expensive bags. In comparison to my more expensive bags, this is a small leather goods. Also with small leather goods, depending on the color that you choose, they can take a little bit more of wear and tear. And I really don't think that this is just gonna, you know, disintegrate, especially in the caviar. And it's a dark color caviar. I know what you're thinking. Chanel is known to be super expensive especially for their small leather goods, they are getting more and more pricey. I even said in my review of the collection that, oh, there's a little bit of micro bag fatigue because we keep seeing them. They're so expensive. They're so useless. Why do I need it? Now I see it in a slightly different light. I still think that they are expensive, of course, over $2,000 for something like this. Oh my gosh. However, hear me out. This little belt bag is slightly, if not very different from your typical card holder because yes i know it looks like a card holder i'll do what's in my bag later <laughs> i'll show you what fits inside a chanel card holder for example whether you went with this size or even the larger size they typically have gussets and they typically are really meant for storing cards maybe a few coins and some paper money this however because of its depth it has quite a generous depth and it's only one compartment it actually fits more than just cards it can fit my cards it can fit my money paper money folded of course I can throw in a few coins too if I want it but it also can fit my car keys my house keys if I take them apart and a lipstick like hello this is a little wallet so in that sense alone i am justifying the higher price because you can't do that with a regular card holder you can obviously modify your card holder to be a little belt bag just for that day temporarily that's totally fine do it it's cool but for me i feel like that really defeats the purpose of a belt bag because it's essentially still a card holder on your waist that can come off at any time, especially when you get in and out of it. So that aspect alone, the fact that it can just fall off, I lose everything, um, it's not secure on me. So that to me is a huge distinction. You get what you pay for. A beautiful boy design, which are typically more expensive. You get a very substantial chain. Those are all the pros and basically reasons why I decided to go with it. But uh, the cons, the only con that I can think of is that it is a very small bag, so you can't fit your life in it. And also the fact that it is still, in the end, super pricey. Okay, time to unbox the second item. So the second time around, I got something in here. But I also got the booklet. This is the... Uh, Chanel Iconic, Secret of the Iconic 1112 bag, which is essentially their classic flap. They talk about the quilting, the leather. I love this picture right here. This is their campaign for the 1112 bag, which is the classic flap in the medium size. They talk about the pockets, the double clasps. If you guys want to get this, Definitely ask your essay to put it aside for you. Again, of course, in the comments below, reply to yourself and tell me what you think this is or which one do you think this is? Because <laughs> Amy went on a tangent. She kind of became crazy. The moment she realized she needed these, she just went and bought more than one of these. <laughs> Yeah, Amy is crazy. Don't ever suggest things to her because especially if it's a Chanel, she will, yeah, this will happen. <laughs> so, of course, same packaging and then same pouch. You see the chain? Oh my goodness, look at that. 
here's the Coco chain. So I'm sure by now you guys know which one it is. Well, actually, there's two versions of these. There's the zip around and then there's this version. You guys know that I don't like zippers usually. <gasps> oh, so pretty. <sighs> OK, so this color is so interesting. I'm going to put it close up. You see on camera, it still looks gray, but if you really look at it closely, it is actually a very, very pale violet or lilac. It's the current season's seasonal color in the very, very pale lilac pink, I would say even. And it's really, really adorable. So yes, another micro bag. This one, as far as I know, comes in three different colors that I've seen. It comes with this color. It comes with the light gray color and it also comes in black. I don't know if I've seen any other colors aside from those three. Um, by the way, I haven't seen the gray one. I haven't seen the black one. I've only seen them in Instagram because this was the only one that was left when I went to the store a second time. A side by side look at the two. It's slightly different and very different vibes, right? This one looks smaller. It's really like a card holder shape and it's a boy bag. So it's a little bit more grungy, a little bit more street and cool. Whereas this one is dainty, it's princessy, it's very feminine. This is actually not a belt bag. It is a crossbody strap, really, really pretty CC Coco chain. This is the first time they've ever, uh, well done that recently, I don't know about a long time ago like all the you know really really old archives i just wouldn't know which season if uh, some of you know then let me know so it does have a very very dainty chain like i said this one is a little bit more feminine it's also a crossbody so it definitely looks a lot more polished and just elegant i also love that it is in a pink color this was actually not my first choice i just wanted the gray because i just figured i love the Chanel gray, the dove gray is really beautiful. When I was buying the boy version, uh, this one was not available at all. Double check with my essay again because she was off. Uh, she was off for two days during that long weekend. Apparently it came in on her day off. And if the gray color came or other colors came, she wouldn't know because this was the only one left. So I'm so glad that I still reached out to her just in time to get this. And I actually really don't mind this lilac color because I don't have anything in pink, especially for bags. I just prefer them to be neutral. I don't mind wearing pink myself as clothing, but for my bags, I just, you know, would rather get a gray or a white to complement the pink. But I don't have anything pink and it's fine. And this is a small little item, so I, it's really not that big of an issue. It looks like a gray anyway from far away, don't you agree? It looks like a gray or a white, actually. It's very, very pretty. The front again, the side. The back, I wish that the back does have a slip pocket. That would be such a game changer. It would actually make it even more worth it because, you know, then it adds to its practicality. And the size difference is like so. However, the boy version, if you're considering either one of them, the boy is actually a little thicker. Just by a tad, just enough to fit your lipstick a bit more comfortably. However, this one has its advantage. Because it's a much larger size, lengthwise, heightwise, it actually will fit your six key holder. I mean, <laughs> obviously there's not a ton of space left, but you can still put a few cards, some money and a couple of cards, right? I can totally do that, put all of that inside. So it's in the front. It actually has more than, more than enough space for, for two cards. It still closes. So when you're in a pinch and you just want to get out the door or if you just need to get like a quick errand, like go to the corner store, you can literally go out like this. You have a lip product inside that's quite bulky, but if you have a slimmer uh, lip product, then it would fit a lot better actually. So I'll show you what's inside. It actually still has a tiny little bit of space on top, but I have a thin lip balm, another lip product on the bottom, which is the, th the thick one. I also have a key. So let's say you have a house key. 
I have my car keys on the side. So the car key fits right in between the cards and the side of the bag. A stack of cards. I have eight cards right here and that fits comfortably in it with this lip product on the bottom which like I said is a really bulky one because this square part is quite bulky. Also this one is a bit taller so I couldn't I couldn't um, stand it up. In fact if you had just the Hermes one it's perfectly fine because it's a little shorter so you can actually just put it standing up like this so I can do that. I can do money, eight cards, the car keys, another lip balm because this is a small one and then of course my house key will still fit in it. It's really not bad. Look at it. Okay, there is absolutely no way for you to fit your key holder because it's longer than it and it just it just won't happen. It will still pack everything I had previously except minus one item. So I've got my eight cards and money, car keys. So let's put that right there behind the cards and the money. My lip balm. So this is the Hermes lipstick size. I can do the keys on top or I can do it on the side actually. Which is why, like I said, it's small but it packs a punch. No lumps and bumps. It's completely flush on both sides. This one feels more comfortable. It feels easier to close with this bigger plaque in front and the whole um, structure of this little bag is a little bit more substantial than this one. This one feels a bit more lightweight. It just it just feels lighter. It's still caviar, but you can feel the substantialness of this. The grain of this is smaller. Uh, everything is just more refined on the boy version. This one is slightly more sort of their, you know, seasonal piece feeling. Uh, and the fact that you have to really like press on it because I don't know, it has kind of this squishy padding on this uh, quilt. Okay, let's give you some measurements. So this one measures 12.4 or 12.5 centimeters length, um, about nine centimeters height, and about two and a half centimeters in width. The strap drop on this one is 55 centimeters. So you're looking at maybe 21 and a half inch long. 10 centimeter length, 7.8 centimeter height, and about three centimeter width. Also the chain, I measured it as well. There are three settings, like I said. So on the shortest setting, it's about 30 inch waist and on the largest setting, it's 34 inch waist. You can see the CC logo here, especially if you were wearing a black top, every detail on the chain will show up. That's really special about this version, the season, and this size of bag is just amazing. It's flat, it's close to the body, it doesn't weigh much because it's a very small size item, even if you fit everything inside. It'll still be light and comfortable. I love that it fits right on top of my hip bone. I think my hip bone's right here, so the top of the bag sits right on top of it. It's just the perfect little bag. This one is so cool as a belt bag. As you can see, it sits so beautifully. It drapes really beautifully. There is weight to it. Nothing is looking weird at all. It's so trendy and it's so cool. I mean, look at it. It's close to your body, but it has quite enough depth, which is why it fits everything. Easy, get in and out of your little bag situation. Easy to close. It feels substantial, it feels secure. Of course, you can move the chain too. So if you want to really be secure and have nobody touch even the clasp, you can put it in your pocket, make a little statement. This ball is really cute, but it does kind of hit you when you walk in it. Yes, I have already worn it once, of course. <laughs> I could not wait. I had to get it and wear it right away. I was so excited about it. I love it so much. I love the color. You see why I had to pick up both. There was no way. There was no way I was leaving one of them behind. No way. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Future Amy. Unfortunately, the last part of my video did not get recorded. So anyway, 
what do you guys think about micro bags now? Do you love them? Did you change your mind about them? Are you gonna get one or do you already own one? If you're gonna get one, are you gonna pick up a Chanel one, a Fendi one, or some other brands? Let me know down in the comment section. Again, if you're brand new to this channel, I would love to have you back. So please do consider subscribing, especially if you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.